Hello, today we'll be comparing Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut versus Thermal Grizzly Conductonaut. How much better performance can you get by choosing liquid metal thermal paste? Let's find out. Both thermal pastes are made by the same manufacturer, Thermal Grizzly. However, they are very different in their compound. Cryonaut is a traditional non-conductive thermal paste and conductonaut is actually an alloy between several metals that are in a liquid state. Therefore, there are several risks involved when applying the liquid thermal paste. First, if it's applied incorrectly, it can short electronic circuits. Secondly, even if it's applied correctly, in case of sudden turbulence, for example, if you drop your PC, there is a slight risk of liquid metal actually moving outside the surface area that you applied it. In order to avoid this risk, I was using special coating made for electronics. To save some time, I was using cotton swab to apply coating on the motherboard contacts close to the CPU. I didn't want to risk spilling liquid metal on my processor, so I started applying liquid metal to the cooler plate first. Afterwards, I applied some liquid metal on the CPU. If you are going to apply liquid metal on your CPU, uh, my suggestion would be that you should take your time and don't be afraid if the liquid metal doesn't want to stick at the first time because it will take some time before you get in contact but after some time of hard rubbing the liquid metal was applied fully on the CPU surface. After my PC was up and running again I measured idle temperature and afterwards I ran Prime95 small FFTs test for 15 minutes. In order to get comparable results I did the same test with Cryonaut applied as well just before the application of the conductonaut. As you can see idle temperatures are very similar and I was even getting better results with Cryonaut. However, when running FFT's test with standard fan curve, conductonaut outperformed cryonaut by 4 degrees. Taking into account that I was using a single fan Coursera H60 water cooler for testing, I believe the difference would be even bigger with better cooler setup. So, is it worth using Grizzly conductonaut? Well, it depends. If you are going to overclock your hardware to get the best performance, this thermal paste will definitely provide the best results. Otherwise, the first priority should be getting quality cooling setup for your PC. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, share your thoughts what could be interesting to review next, and see you in the next video.